What's up YouTube? My name is Clickwood and I am back again today bringing you guys another Madden 25 Ultimate Team video. And today guys, what I am doing is a recap of round one of the Clickwood Invitational Tournament where we are actually going to be playing for Barry Sanders in the finals. So it is a 16 team tournament. If you guys aren't aware, you can go back a few videos and see kind of how the bracket was broken down and uh, who's playing against who. But I'm going to give you a recap from each of the games that we've had here so far in round one. And we're going to start off right away with my friend Mikey Sweats going up against Tactical Snapple and Mikey Sweats was it dominant in this game. Mikey Sweats forcing a fumble here early in the game. He was already up three to nothing, but he wouldn't stop there. Mikey was an absolute beast throwing the football in this game and rushing the football. As you see Barry Sanders barrel his way into the end zone for a touchdown there to put Mikey up 10 to nothing very early in this one. But his opponent... He played decently. I think that the, the actual final score really didn't indicate that Tactical Snapple's a better player, but Mikey Sweat's team, man, is just so nasty as you see him get an interception there, and man, it was really, really tough because you could just tell that Tactical Snapple was trying some of his plays that he's comfortable with, but Mikey's team is just so good, and he knows how to use them. Mikey is not just a guy that has a good team. He's got Cam Newton, Golden Ticket, of course, and he has a ton of Ultimate Legends, like this one, Ultimate Legend Jerome Bettis, who barrels up the middle for a big gain, and then it was another touchdown here, this time by Cam Newton, as Mikey went up 17 to nothing here in the first half, with 18 seconds left on the clock. It was Deion Sanders getting another interception, and Mikey was returning this one nearly for a touchdown, but he was able to score one more time before the end of the first half. As you see it there, a very controversial touchdown, but it, he was able to take that 24-0 lead into the half. And at that point, man, it was pretty much over as Mikey is going to bomb it deep here. Look at this. He's got three receivers down the field here. And Tactical Snapple just takes his player and dives him at the ground. He knew he had no chance. Calvin Johnson catches the football and Mikey was up 31 to 0. He did finally allow a touchdown and he allowed, and then he kicked one more field goal to go up 34 to 7 for the final victory. Moving on now to game number two, and unfortunately, I do not have video for this one, but it was two of my friends, Thicey versus Philly Ron. The final score 27 to 13 is Thicey takes his new team. Yes, he was pretty much done with Madden Ultimate Team, at least Madden 25 Ultimate Team. When I asked him to be in the tournament, he said that he wanted to play though, so he assembled a team, and it wasn't it wasn't anywhere near as good as his old team, but it was good enough. He was able to hold off Philly Ron, who is a former tournament player himself. Philly Ron, a very, very good player. He does own the Mutt Tips YouTube channel. If you guys haven't seen that, head over there. Maybe he didn't play his best in this one, but I know I've learned a lot from Philly Ron, and I know that he will be back in Madden 15 to give us more great content. Next game, we have Aguila for life, and he was able to hold off Wild Up for you. And guys, this was a really, really good game. I was a little bit surprised because Aguila for life, uh, he was somebody I've played before, and I had pretty good luck against him. Um, he plays better than what his team does, but man... It was a pretty good game, I think, overall. He went down 7-0 early in this one. But look at this. He actually had Jerome Bettis out there at quarterback in the Wildcat. And he handed the ball off to Jamal Charles for nearly 30 yards there. And he had a really, really effective running game here. I think that he learned a lot from the way that I was playing. As you see, Donald Penn pick up a block there on a sweep. And he scored a touchdown to tie it up in this one. Back on defense now, and it was Warren Moon for Wild Up for you as his quarterback, so he did not have a super overpowered team. Still a pretty decent team, though, and he was moving the ball fairly effectively in this one. Right here at the end of the second quarter here, and he threw an absolutely deadly interception because he could have gone up 14 to nothing, or uh, excuse me, 14 to 7, but instead, look at this as he breaks another run here, Jamal Charles, after that interception, an absolutely astonishing touchdown as Aguila for Life goes up 14-7, to and he got the ball. So Aguila for Life back on offense, and he is going to go deep here. Oh my goodness, a massive gain there to Calvin Johnson, and he is going to try and go up another score here, and yes, he is going to do it the third time running that sweep as he gets into the end zone again with it, 21-7 to now, but he was not to be, he was not able to hold off 
completely as Wild Up for you came back. But that deadly, another turnover there, a deadly, deadly turnover, and that was pretty much it because Wild Up for you was able to get the ball back, but. Aguila for life was able to pretty much run out most of the clock. Wild Up For You does score a touchdown here, but it was not quite enough as Aguila for life is going to be able to run another sweep here for yet another big gain. He intentionally got tackled there and ran out the clock. So that was the end of that one. And we move on now to the next game, which was I pull up to the house against Kid Famous. And unfortunately, guys, I don't have a score for this one. I do know that I pull up to the house, won the game. So that that means that he is actually going to move on now to round two and he will uh he will be somebody to watch because he had an absolutely dominant team i was watching his stream today and he was he was absolutely stacked at just about every single position he has an ultimate legend the next game another one that I, unfortunately i did not get video for but this one didn't really seem like it was much of a game anyway like flight 23 forced a rage quit against chris 234 uh, I don't know exactly when it happened. It sounded like it was fairly early in the game and Chris234 just wasn't able to hang. So Like Flight is going to move on and he is somebody to definitely watch in this one because, uh, man, if he's, score if he's uh, throwing up 21 points and forcing a rage quit, guys, I don't know that there's going to be many people that are able to compete with him. Next player, their next game, we had Muhammad Ali K as he played Bears 3-4-4-3 and this was the best game of round one in my opinion as you guys are going to see here muhammad ali k on offense and he is moving the ball effectively passing and running mostly passing for him which is uh something that you don't really see a whole lot of out of the uh the top guys in this tournament at least a lot of us are preferring to run the football but man muhammad ali k's passing game was on fire he was throwing a lot of in routes and making very effective passes definitely dotting up the opposing defense but bears was not to be denied man he was playing pretty well on offense himself and he was able to uh continue to run the football here with walter payton as you're going to see him get a couple of nice runs here this one up the middle as he runs over a defender getting another first down but bears just was not able to completely win this game he was he was doing pretty well in the first half but then stuff like this would happen you're going to see cam newton here throw a football that should have been a touchdown and earl thomas makes an incredible interception that was just bad luck in my opinion but you know sometimes that's the kind of thing that happens seven seconds in the first half left but bears get bailed out as his defenders force a fumble and he is able to kick a field goal here after that to make it three to seven going into the half and muhammad ali k was somebody that was definitely impressive in this one because although he was getting the raw end of the deal a couple of times man he was able to continue to move the ball look at him as he fumbled again that time it went out of bounds and didn't cost him but his players definitely went to D the dream kareem's popcorn party in this one because they were fumbling the ball i think he had three fumbles but you see adrian peterson there with one of the nicest runs of the first round here of the playoffs uh, of the tournament playoffs and look at this throw here by cam newton as he dots it in there for a touchdown and he is able to go up 14 to 3. At this point, it's looking pretty good for Muhammad Ali K and especially after this play, Bears throws an interception and ugly ugly pick and it was looking like this game was going to be over at that point. But Muhammad Ali K was only able to get a field goal on this drive. And that meant that with a minute 51 left on the clock, Bears was able to get the ball back. As you can see here, he is going to look deep on this one. And man, look at this play. This was incredible. I was on my feet watching this one as Jerry Rice goes over the top on Patrick Peterson. He flies past him, and he is finally going to get taken down at the one-yard line. Very next play, though, or two, two plays later, excuse me, Cam Newton is able to get into the end zone on a QB sneak. And watch this. There's a minute 19 left, guys. This game is not over. As he kicks a squib, Rob Gronkowski recovers, back jukes, and gets smashed. Look how many guys are looking around for this fumble, and none of them are able to recover it. But Muhammad Ali K was not able to get enough off the clock, and he ended up having to punt. That meant that Bears had 16 seconds left on the clock here to try and put up another touchdown, and he is going to bomb it deep here. Does he have a miracle left in him? No, he didn't. Unfortunately, he does get intercepted here 
five seconds remaining in the game and that pretty much did it in this one as he was not able to close out the game uh bears was not able to come back he was able to close out the game excuse me muhammad ali k will move on Next game, and this one was probably the biggest upset of round one, as JT was here, one, two, three, four, five, was able to defeat Madden Fever, which is also known as IXTMFXI. As you see here, he gets a touchdown on the first drive to go up seven to nothing. But, but guess what, guys? JT was here, was not to be denied. Look at that play as he scrambles with his own Cam Newton, finds a target down the field, and gets a touchdown to tie things up. But look at his plays on defense because he was getting an interception here. And that was absolutely huge because you have to throw off these top players. You have to get them out of their comfort zone. And that's what he was able to do. Watch this back juke with Cam Newton as he takes off. An absolutely incredible play. I don't think I've ever seen that run like that. And that is something that you're going to actually see in a couple of minutes here. Who is going to have to defend that in the next game. And guys, he is not somebody that is easy to defend. JT was here was very, very impressive in this one. As you see his defense force another fumble. And you could kind of start to tell that Madden Fever was starting to get a little bit frustrated as he takes a sack there. And guys, although he was able to put more points on the board, it just wasn't quite enough. And JT was here, was able to hold on for a 30-22 to victory in this one. I was very, very impressed with how he played. And guys, it, it was something that you just, you don't really go into a tournament and expect that it's going to go that way. But that's kind of the way that that game went. I was, uh, like I said, very, very impressed with how JT was here played. Uh, great, great offense by him and also pretty impressive on defense. Final game of round one was Clickwood versus Novak 435. Yes, you guys have already seen this. If you watched my video yesterday, I was able to win this game. I did not play my best Madden, certainly. Uh, but I was able to hold on and get the victory. It was an ugly, ugly performance. Uh, I did not play my best either on offense or on defense, but it was just enough because I've, I've got such great players. I mean, Barry Sanders is still on my team until this tournament is over, at least. Donald Penn is still an absolute monster. But if you watch how I was playing on defense, man, he was finding the holes in my defense, and I just was... I was getting thrown off by it. I can't really deny it. I was really, really having a lot of trouble. And uh, if you guys are watching up in the right-hand corner, I did have a face cam on the video. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to crop that out on this. But you are getting a little bit of Inception Clickwood here from the next day. So I hope you guys enjoy the Inception of uh, my video here. But overall, I was able to, like I said, walk away with a victory. I, I wasn't happy with how I played at all. But it, it's good enough. And, uh, you know, that's really what it comes down to in the end is you just need to play good enough to win. And that's what I was able to do in this one. So I'm pretty happy with it. And I am going to move on to play JT was here in the next round. That is something that I'm not looking forward to. I am really, really not expecting to win that game. I know I've said that a few times, but... Uh, when you go up, when you see somebody beat a tournament player the way that he did and I'm not a tournament player by any means I'm decent at Madden, but not very good I do not think that game is going to be uh, going in my favor if I had to put money on it I would definitely put money on my opponent without question I think that he's the favorite in that one So if I'm able to walk away with the win, I will be ecstatic But that is how it's going to look going into round two as we are going to take a look here in the final seconds here of the video at the updated bracket we are going to have in the top left corner, you see Mikey Sweats versus Thicey420. This is a, a, mat, a Mutt Anarchy game. And so those two guys, both of them very good players, are going to be facing off. The winner will head to the semifinals. And then we've got Aguila for life versus I pull up to the house. I pull up to the house, like I said, has been playing amazing football. So I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Next game, we have Like Flight 23 versus Muhammad Ali K. And man, Muhammad Ali K was you know he was able to hold on against bears but that was a, a pretty close game i think like flight is probably the favorite in that one after you see how he was able to defeat his opponent in round one and force that rage quit and then in the final game of the second round it's going to be me versus jt was here one two three four five so again guys if you guys are interested in this whole tournament thing and uh, i apologize that i've kind of bumbled my way through this. this is the first time that i've tried to do a recap video but I wanted to do something unique so that you guys could get kind of an idea of what we're doing in this tournament. And again, first place is going to get a hundred, or is going to get six hundred thousand coins and ultimate legend Barry Sanders. Second place, six hundred thousand coins, and third place in the tournament will receive four hundred thousand coins. So there is a ton on the line in this whole thing. And guys, just keep in mind that if you're interested in this whole tournament. 
make sure that you follow my Twitter account, which is going to be twitter.com slash clickwoodtv or at clickwoodtv, however you want to say it. Just head over there. I will be attempting to tweet out all the stream links. Every game does need to be streamed. Unfortunately, I'm not always home when they're streamed, so I do apologize for that. But, you know, I'm going to try and do as much as I can in round two here. I will actually be playing my game later this evening. You guys are watching this on Saturday. So Saturday evening, pay attention to my Twitter account. Also head over to twitch.tv slash clickwoodtv and you guys will be able to follow and watch that game. That is where we're going to be playing my game. The other games will be played like on uh, I Pull Up To The House's channel and Muhammad Ali K's channel probably and probably Mikey Sweats' channel. So head over to those guys, watch their videos, uh, get an idea of who these guys are and then also like I said, tune in to watch those uh, those tournament games live on stream. I will also be attempting to do another recap video like this if you guys like it. If you do enjoy it, make sure you press that like button below. If you're new to my channel, make sure you also press the subscribe button because I will have a ton of Mutt15 and Madden15 content in general on my channel over the coming weeks here. I'm really looking forward to Madden. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave a comment below, press that like button and everything. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I do appreciate it and I will talk to you beautiful bitches again soon.